Check out our last machine. Finishing off Mega Machines, grab those marshmallows and find a stick. Because we're getting all fired up for Airburner's T400 Trench Burner. Nestled in the American Southwest is Lakeside, Arizona. That's where you'll find this hot little number. Used for lightning quick disposal of combustible greenery and wood wastes, the T400 trench burner stretches a toasty 28 feet 10 inches long and weighs 7,000 pounds. That's more than a pickup truck. Fueling this firebrand are 88 ponies. Every last twig and branch burns. The T-400's purpose is simple, to fight fire. I think until you see these big orange flames licking in these trees in your back window, you probably think, well, that's going to happen to somebody else and not me. So I believe the people here are extremely aggressive in fuels reduction. Fuels reduction is when they ask the homeowners to go out and basically gather up all the burnable materials around their homes so that they can help to prevent a forest fire. That they can't give away, then they burn in our machines. In fact, this T-400 machine can consume five to eight tons of kindling in a single hour. But what really makes this machine red hot is that it can set up wherever you need some sizzle. First, of course, you arrive on site, you find out where the prevailing winds are, you bring an excavator in, and you would then dig the trench. Then you would put your uh, charge material, your fine material, into the trench, you'd put your accelerant on it, then you would light the trench. Turn on the T-400 to fan the flames. It's designed for the smaller operator, a guy that's going to hook it onto his pickup truck, and he's going to burn for a day or maybe two days, and then he's going to be gone. But how about the bigger operator with too much wood to burn in a trench? Well, that's when you call in a pyromaniac's dream machine. It's Airburner's S327 box burner. S327 box burner is the Frankenstein of fireplaces. Stretching 37 timber torching feet long, and it weighs a blistering 50,000 pounds. Spark the S327 up, and in a single eight hour shift, this focused firestorm can reduce an 80 ton load into six inches of ash. The secret behind this white hot fella? Well, it doesn't use fuel to fan the flames. Nope. Just, well, fans. The air burner uses about the same principle that Grandma used to in her fireplace. You would start a small fire, you'd take out your bellows, and you'd induce a lot of oxygen to it. This would make the fire start burning a little more aggressively, and then you would add larger fuel. We always start out with kindling, right, and then we put the logs on it. This is the same process. We're putting a high-velocity curtain of air over the top of the box, almost like a lid. And this lid, its purpose is to trap the smoke particles and then cause the smoke particles to reside over the hot fires. And underneath that air curtain, it's it's probably in the neighborhood about 2,000, 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the same temperature as molten lava, but a lot less messy. This is the Air Burners S327, the largest portable firebox in the world.
You see the castable thermal ceramic doors here. They weigh about 2,000 pounds. They're specially built to take high impacts and high temperatures. You're also seeing the initial charge for the morning start up here. We're at the real business part of the S327. This is the air curtain manifold. Through these nozzles comes the high velocity of curtain air. We're at the power end of the machine now. This is the blower that creates the high velocity curtain of air down through the manifold you see on the long side of the box. Behind us is the diesel engine that powers this fan and the controls to operate the fan. That's all we got for this hour. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Saragusa, and we'll see you next time on Mega Machines.